Good afternoon. I'm just adjusting the camera. Bear with me. Oh. Okay. So. So welcome back. Today is, um, sorry, I'm looking for my embellishment that I used on this. So today is my coffee and card class to go. We are going to be creating these three cards and a 3D box. Let me zoom just a little. I want to make sure you can see the projects. Okay. Okay. So these are our projects that we're going to be creating today. So how coffee and cards works is today is Tuesday. The new one goes live. It's on my blog at nine o'clock. I go live at noon. We're going to create these four projects together. Then if you would like to receive the kits, the kits are, they come like this, but there's enough stuff in each kit. So there's enough stuff in this kit to create two of this card and so forth. And then you also get a printed project sheet with this that gives you all the dimensions and, uh, and everything, uh, measurements and everything of what I've created, everything I've created. Okay. If you are interested in that, then you just use the new host code that just come out today and it is, uh, will be, I'll link it in this description of this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it on my Facebook group, um, then I will put it in the comment section. And we are, uh, and you use that host code, you go online, you click on that, you place a $30 or more order before tax and shipping, and then you send me an email at stampwithroberta at gmail.com and let me know you want this bundle, or you want these card kits, and you place your order, and I will get them out to you. They So card kits go, coffee cards runs from Tuesday till Monday, so October 2nd. Wow, is it really going to be October 2nd? So, hi, Iona. So, October 2nd, this will close. And then, by that Friday, the kits will go out to anyone who purchased them. That gives me a, a few days to cut kits and print the project sheets and get everything shipped out. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to be using the Autumn Leaves Bundle. So, it has dies and the stamp set. Okay, and then we are going to be... So, I know we're going to be using that... And then we have a, our 3D box, which we'll, come, the, the, we'll do that last. We're going to start with this card first. And I'm going to bring in my pieces and stuff. And I've got to grab the stamp because I did not get any stamps ready. I don't know what I was thinking, but whatever. We'll get there. Just bear with me. So we need this big leaf. I'm going to grab my scrubber and put it off to the side over here because we're going to need to clean in between stamping on this card because we have, I'm going to set all my pieces to the side and we're going to use, this is our card base. So we're going to use this piece and we're going to stamp three leaves, this leaf here. Um, I'm going to stamp, we're going to stamp an old olive. Okay, and then I'm going to close that up. We're going to stamp it in pecan pie. Let me clean it real quick. Okay, so we're going to stamp it in, in pecan pie and clean it. Okay, and then we're going to stamp it in wild wheat. I'm going to grab another piece of scrap just for the reason is I want to put it through for when we're die cutting it. I don't want to get them too close. Okay. My wild wheat is really juicy. Okay, I'm going to close my wild wheat. Oh, wait, let me stamp my greeting. So we're just going to stamp the greeting up here. Now we can close this in. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up and move it to the side for a second. We're going to bring in, we need the big leaf die, this one here. 
I'm going to bring in my post-it note. Let me grab my back. This is the big cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to just line this up here. Okay. So I'm just lining it up. We're going to cut these three leaves out. And then we'll move on. Okay. I'm going to tell you honestly that I, first, I got busy working on business stuff. Um, I was doing some planning for my uh, business stuff. And I totally forgot about the live. That's why my stamps were not ready. Okay, we're going to slide this in there. We're going to do our last leaf. Okay, just like that. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm lay the die out of the way. Oh, I laid the leaf out of the way instead of the die. Oh, well. Okay, so next we're going to bring in our lasting label punch, I believe is what it's called. We're just going to punch that out. Okay, and now we have all of our pieces and parts ready. So let me bring in my card base and stuff. Okay, so this is our card. I'll grab my bone folder. stamp and seal so what I did here is this is a wild wheat card front we're just going to attach it to our card base leaving a border then I ran this piece of basic white through the embossing folder it's the basic 3d uh, embossing folder is the cross hatch one it's my favorite I have to say I use this a lot okay so we're going to come in and put adhesive on the back of our three leaves and I'm just using seal because these are going to lay flat. Okay, and we're just going to offset them a little bit in like a trio. And then I'm going to bring in my dimensionals. And we're going to attach it this, our greeting with dimensionals. And we're going to do it right on top. And then we're using the speckled dots. And I'm using these last two of this color. I have more, but this is also my giveaway this month. If you spend $50 before tax and shipping, um, even if you're buying this class, if you want this coffee and cards and your orders that needs to be 30, if you add 20 more, then you get speckled dots from me for free. Okay, so there's card number one. Okay, so let's move on to card number two. Okay. There we go. So we need a card base. I love having all my basic white card bases cut. It makes crafting so much more fun. Okay, so what I did here was I took a great, uh, old olive card front. I took the stylish shapes and cut out a square. Now we're going to attach this. I like to do this because it saves paper. Nobody's going to know that I did that you cut that square out. Um, and we have basic white that's going to cover it so you won't even see that we cut the square out. Okay, and then we're going to attach our. I did a basic white square that fits right inside. Okay, then we need I'm thankful. Oh. So we need these two. Let me to grab my scrubber and lay it out. Okay. So we're going to do I'm thankful. And I was looking for my other block um, to have you as a friend. Hi, Melinda. Okay, so I'm going to attach my square wire where I want it. Um, let's see, I'm going to do early espresso for I'm thankful. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to use Old Olive for to have you as a friend. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to bring our speckled dots back in. We're going to add two of the green ones. Just like that. I love these speckled dots. And then we're going to add some leaves. And I just cut out a whole bunch of different leaves. This one is embossed with a crosshatch. And I'm just using, it's the maple. And then these leaves are, you can cut out any you want. This one is crushed curry, garden green, and pecan pie. Okay? So I just sat down and cut out a whole bunch of them. And then to make these cards. Okay? So this is card number two. Quick and easy. And for our last card, our white card base again. I need to clean this. Okay. Now we're good. Let's get started. So we have early espresso card base, or card front, sorry. And we have basic white. And then I have a three quarter inch strip. Uh, this is from um, All About Autumn Designer Series Paper. I'm just bringing it in to add a little bit of color. Then we're going to bring in our espresso ink. We're going to stamp. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. It is finally turning cold here in Ohio, and I love fall. It's my favorite season. Can't help it. Love, love, love fall. Okay, so we are going to do, I did, again, these are different colors, but they're the same one. I did wild wheat and embossed it. I did pecan. Thank you, Iona. I love these cards, too. They're quick and easy, and they're so cute. And then I'm going to just pop my little ma red maple leaf up and that is our third card oh let me add the embellishment oh I almost forgot so we're gonna do a big one and two little ones and these ones I think are crumb cake but don't hold me to that I'm not sure 100% the colors but there's our third card so next up is our box so this is going to be our box that we're going to create. I'm going to grab my scissors. Okay. Oh, so now I'm going to set it to the side because we need our trimmer. Okay. So your paper, a traditional piece of cardstock. Wild, this is the Wild Wheat cardstock. It is eight and a half by 11. Okay. So we need it to be seven and a half. So we're going to cut it at seven and a half. And then it's by 11. On the 11 inch side, I'm going to score the half inch mark first. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it because I want my half inch on this side. Then we're going to score at five. Five and three quarters. And ten and a quarter. Then on the seven and a half inch side, we're, I'm going to score the three quarter inch first. Then we're going to go and four and a half. Okay. So now I'm going to push this out of the put the trimmer out of the way. I'm going to bring in my bone folder so that we can burnish all of our score marks. Okay. So, Iona and Melinda, have you guys been creating? And I know Melinda's been doing 12 weeks of Halloween. But, Iona, have you been creating any cards? I thought of you yesterday. I was doing my October birthday cards. And I know you do a lot of birthday cards. Okay.
But yeah, lots of Halloween. I've been watching your projects. They're so cool. Okay, so we want to put the small end, the half inch side is going to be on this side, okay? So we're going to come in over here and I'm going to bur uh, cut in at an angle and then we're going to cut this square off, okay? Then th this one we're going to cut up to the score line on both of this tab and then I'm just going to wedge it because it works better. I like the wet wedge mine. So they go to better to go together better. Okay. And then this little tab here, I'm just going to cut it and wedge it. Perfect. So up here, we are going to cut off this, this, and this, but we're going to leave the middle one for now. So I'm just going to cut along this score line all the way over. And then we're going to cut up to the score line. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now I want to make these tabs and cut the score line or wedge it. And we're going to do the same thing here. And then this tab here, we're going to cut off. Okay, so we want to take this and cut it all the way off. Perfect. So over here, we are going to cut this all the way off. So we're going to wedge this up and then down like this. Okay. So give me one second. Move this trash out of the way and grab my tear and tape. Okay. So we are going to put tear and tape on the end side of this. Oh, no, wait, let me make sure. Yeah, I'm going to put my tear and tape on the inside of this. Just one little piece there. Let me grab my... Okay. Perfect. And then I'm going to line this up with that score line. And that is going to make our box, okay? Then I want this to be the back. So I'm going to fold it and lay it down. And then I'm going to bring in my tear and tape. You can use liquid glue. You can use seal. Oh, Iona, you need to unpack the trimmer. all doing fall Melinda's doing fall cards now I am moving on to Christmas so um I can't wait to start creating more Christmas stuff I've been working on my 12 weeks of Christmas which starts October 2nd so I'm excited for that okay so now what we're going to do is just line this up and press down and that's going to create our box okay just like that Okay, so let me bring in my pieces. Okay, so you need two pieces of designer series paper, and I these are the two I chose. I just took this and cut it in half. So this one is going to be the front. Let me find my seal. So I'm going to put this one on the front of my box, which is the top of the pattern. And then here, this is going to be the inside of my box, right here. Yeah, I uh, I understand that, Iona. You have to do a do what you can when you can. Okay, so next up, I'm bring my box. Original. This is the original box. Um, so we're going to bring this. You can put a Reese a full Kit Kat in here. Um, so I will just untie it when I put mine in. Um, I've been creating a lot of boxes for these coffee and cards. So I'm buying a bunch of candy and I'm filling them all full. And they are going to my nieces in South Carolina. <laughs> I'm sure their mother will love me for that, but whatever. I'm the boss. Today, anyways. 
Okay, so we're going to stamp with a grateful heart and wild wheat and stamp. Oh, I did not get it good. Thank God paper has two sides. Okay, so this one I'm just going to glue with seal straight on. And then with my leaves, I'm just going to put a dimensional on the back of both of them. And you can use it, like I said, I just cut out a whole bunch and just grab some, so. Yeah, I use my mini trimmer a lot for um, scrapbooking. I have it with my uh, one little word stuff right now, but yeah, I love it. So let me bring everything back in. These are our boxes. This is one of our cards. This is my favorite card. I don't know why it just is. And then we have this card. So that is it. So if you would like, I'm going to push these up a little bit so you can see them all. Um, so again, if you would like to purchase the, this, if you would like to receive the card kits for this class and the, for the boxes and the cards, just go click on the link that I will put, leave in the description or I'll put it in the comment section if you're watching this on Facebook group and place an order of $30 or more before tax and shipping. Remember, if your order is $50, you get a package of, um, and you get an embellishment from me. And then if you, um, have any questions, reach out to me at stampwithroberta at gmail.com and I will come back and answer all, any and all questions. So thank you for joining me.